Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. It is Expresso here on SABC3. Now, I have a question for you. Do you know your apples from your pears? Well, this morning, we're not talking about vegetables. We are talking about women of all shapes and sizes and how understanding your body shape can inspire you to look at your wardrobe in a fresh light and, of course, dress with confidence. Now, our fashion director, Alexa Shafe, is here this morning to help us identify key body shapes and share some tips on how to balance out our curves. Good morning. Good morning, Alexis. How morning. are you? Very good. <laughs> now, wasn't it so funny during the break? And I have to share this with you. All of the guys behind the cameras were saying, Oh, I think that you are rounded. No, <laughs> I think that you are a pear shape. So it was really, really funny to see. But I'm a little worried that after we talk this morning, all women are going to feel like they need a whole new wardrobe. No, absolutely not. <laughs> That's really not the intention. No, absolutely. I think you have, everyone has those key pieces in their wardrobe that yeah. they can still use. You just need to learn how to balance out your curves. Yes. So you use what you already have mm -hmm. to flatter your figure. Okay. So you don't have to chuck out all those favorites that you've been holding on to. Yeah. Really, you can give them a whole new look if you just wear them the right way. You accessorize them differently. Mm -hmm. and you know, that's an important point to make is that we really need to start washing and yeah. storing our clothes the right way. Yes. We need to follow those wash care instructions. Mm -hmm. They're there for a reason. Absolutely. And you really need to start to use a detergent which has yeah. nourishing fiber technology like Skip Auto Liquid yes. that will really retain the shape and color of your clothes. You can wear them this season and next season. I'm so I'm, I'm starting to believe in that every time you say that because we want longevity out of the things that Absolutely. we wear, you know. So if you take care of something, it's going to last longer. Absolutely. But let's also now look at these lovely shapes that we have because I also think that when a woman knows how her body is shaped she can dress accordingly yes, you know yes. because if you're around a shape there's certain things that you should maybe steer away from so let's look at the different shapes that we have here today so here we have our five key shapes yes we have a triangle here on the end which is mm -hmm. also called a pear shape yes you have rounded which we call the apple okay the inverted triangle which i actually quite like to call the strawberry okay into the fruits theme all right and then of course the most desirable figure the hourglass okay where your bust and your hips are the same size and then the opposite of that a rectangle where you're right. pretty much straight up and down, you don't have many curves, and your waist kind of needs a little bit more definition. Okay, now let's look at the, the different characteristics of all of the body types and what clothes you should wear to suit your body shape. Okay, right. So let's start with the apple shape. Yes. So now an apple shape means that you're rounder around the middle, so you need to create the illusion of a waist with your clothing. Generally, apples also have a great set of legs. Oh, I know this. So then you can really kind of enhance that. So you can go for some shorter dresses that will kind of like let your legs stand out. Yeah. I think an empire line, which is when the seam is just below the bust, is a really flattering shape for an yes. apple because it will kind of maximize your curves on top, but then it will just kind of disguise the tummy just a little bit. Yeah. A really important point that I have got to make yes. is do not take a wide waist belt if you're an apple, oh. strap it around your middle and yeah. think that that's going to solve the problem. No. It's not because it's actually going to cut your body in half yes. and all the eye is going to see is the yes. widest part of your body. Yes. So then we can move on to the pear. Let's move on to the pear. But also with apples, like you, we said that they have really amazing legs. Mm -hmm. Like use that, like find that thing that works for you and accentuate that part of your Absolutely. body, right? Okay. Absolutely. So now we're moving on to the pear. Oh, Chloe pear Kardashian. Shape. So all you have to look, you have to look at any Kardashian to know wow. how best to dress a pear shape. Yes. Because they generally, eight out of ten, <laughs> eight out of ten times they do it really well. Yeah. So a pear shape is wider on the bottom and then it's smaller on the top. Mm. So like slightly like less weight on your shoulders and your bust yes. than on your hips and your bum. So basically you have to kind of balance that out mm. by bringing the eye upwards continuously. Yes. Yes. So think about bright colors on the top, bold mm. patterns, you need to add volume to your yeah. upper half. So ruffles, um, shoulder pads, studded details on the shoulders, little crop jackets mm. that are kind of, you know, going to keep the eye upwards. Yeah. Lots of trips, tricks that the uh, Kardashians yeah. use yeah. and it's really good just to keep the interest on your upper body. Well, these pairs are very, very confident pairs like Beyonce <laughs> and the Kardashians, like they just represent. I think all the most way. women are actually pear shaped, yeah. and it's a beautiful shape to have. So you just need to embrace that, exactly. and you can really make yourself look more evenly curvaceous by yes. keeping the focus up and then defining the waist. Wonderful. So our next body shape is the strawberry, yeah. the cone, or the inverted triangle, as they yes. like to say, and you can either be. Mm -hmm wider on your shoulders yeah. or bigger on the bust. Okay. There isn't like a defining factor that this is a top heavy thing. Okay. Basically it means that your upper body mm -hmm. is just bigger than your lower body, okay. so your waist and your hips. Okay. So what you need to do is the opposite okay. to the pear shape. You need to keep the focus on 
skirt, trousers. Yes. So that's where you need to bring your bright colors. Again, define that waist. Yeah. Skinny belts, amazing. Yeah. Also structure, like mm. structured dresses are always better on someone that is top heavy. Yes. It's also good, like you'll see, you know, Princess Charlene often will have dresses that are slightly wider mm. on the yeah. sleeve. Yes. So you don't see her, like this one, yes. you don't see her in little strappy dresses yeah. that emphasize her swimmer's shoulders. Exactly, and make them look bigger than what they Absolutely. actually are. She's balancing out her shape nice. by kind of minimizing the shoulder by almost hiding it. Okay, lovely. Let's take a look at our next yes. shape. Hourglass. Ooh. So, <gasps> hourglass is, is really actually a great figure yes, to have and really you're going to look great in everything just don't disguise your body okay. if you try and go for that grunge baggy look it's not going to work for you yeah. because between your hips and your bust mm -hmm. it's just going to get all baggy around the middle yes. you need to always define your shape you I know agree. you've got this great body you need to embrace it so again structured dresses yeah. tight dresses this whole sports luxe bodycon feel is great for you um, define your waist so that there's a di especially if you're a petite yes. hourglass you need to like kind of put everything in proportion and you need to see your middle. Absolutely, like Sofia Vergara does it so well. An amazing hour, <gasps> Gorgeous. Glass. And you see actually in this dress that she's wearing here, there's all that detail that wraps yes. around the center of her body. So it actually, bam, bust, waistline, hips. This is the kind of silhouette you Fantastic. really need to achieve. And our last shape is the rectangle. The rectangle. So people always often say this is a sportier shape, yeah. but I think that maybe that's not fair to girls mm. out there that are rectangles that aren't sporty. Yeah. Generally, you're not carrying a lot of curves, so you need to just fake it till you make it. <laughs> so it's add the volume, wow. add the ruffles. It's actually quite a good shape to have from a fashion perspective, because mm. you can get away with those flared skirts, with the crop jackets, with shoulder pads, with ruffles, with you know bows around your neck, big neck pieces. You can really go for it. You can actually add a lot of volume to your shape. Yeah. Just again, bring the, it's all about this hourglass, yes. right? It's all yes. about the waist. Yeah. So with the exception of the apple that you just need to be careful about, you know, kind yeah. of honing that in a bit, yeah. everything else needs to come back to that waist. So just Wonderful. make sure your waist is trim and that everything else is fun and bold. Wonderful. Now what are some of the most important items in our wardrobe that we should be looking after? Well, you know what? I think, you know, it doesn't matter what shape you are, yeah. denim is a must. For Absolutely. everybody. Yes. I think every girl looks great in a pair of jeans. Yeah. You just need to find the style that fits you best. Yeah. But I don't know about you, I don't know how many pairs of jeans you've bought and at the end of the season mm -hmm. you just chuck it because yes. it's lost its shape around the bum. Yes, okay. definitely. Terrible thing. So, Skip Auto Liquid is your skinny jeans BFF. Wow. Absolutely. Switch to a cool to cold cycle. Not a lot yeah. of people do that, but yeah. you should do it. Yes. And then you're going to let the fiber technology in that liquid actually wow. hold the shape of that denim. And you will see such a difference. And also, you'll see less color fade as well. Yeah. So if you've got those bright statement jeans, come summer, they're still going to be bright. Awesome, awesome. Wow, I love that. Keeping our statement pieces for longer. Yes. Thank you so much, Alexis, for taking us through not only how to look after our clothes, but of course, how to dress right for our body shape as well. I feel so much more empowered as a woman, don't you? So if you're apple, embrace that apple. If you're a pear, embrace that pear. Boys, what are you and are you embracing it? There are drops and there are super drops from Skip Concentrated Liquid that removes stains without damage. Skip Concentrated Liquid for complete stain removal without damage.